Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Carnivore Club subscription box for the month of November. Let me tell you, I was pretty excited to see this arrive in my mailbox. Um, the last subscription box from the folks over at Carnivore Club got a selection, or I got myself a selection, of really delicious, uh, delectable meats. So when it arrived this time around, I opened it like a kid on Christmas morning. Well, I didn't actually open it. I opened the outer packaging that this came in, but I don't know actually what's inside this just yet. On the front of the box, satisfy your inner carnivore, the inner carnivore from the Carnivore Club. I'm going to provide the link down below. Uh, you guys were big fans. I know you guys really enjoyed me opening the last Carnivore Club uh, subscription box. So we're going to get, enjoy this together. I'm going to technically be trying this, but you guys will be able to enjoy it through me. I'll be like your vessel. Um, but once again, I dig the box, uh, which is one thing I mentioned with the last time I did the the last subscription box that I received. Um, I, I like how the box looks like a, a cutting block. I think that's a really nice touch. Now, one thing, though, I realized that the last time, if I'm going to be doing Carnivore Club, and I'm going to be opening this up to enjoying monthly meats, I need to be a little more sophisticated than I was last time. Last time, I was just eating it like a caveman. I, that that doesn't work. That doesn't work. So, so I took the liberty. Let's bring the camera down. I took the liberty. Let's put that right there. I got myself a plate, like so, a very fancy plate, I might add, with a knife and a fork. We're gonna actually do this like civilized, like a civilized gentleman. I also got myself a really masculine candle for ambiance. That's really just to set the mood, and we're gonna try this together. We're gonna open this up and see what we get. I don't know why I'm doing that. But we're gonna open this up and see what we get for this month's Carnivore Club. I'm gonna put my knife and my fork and my very masculine vanilla candle over there. And let's get this opened up and find out what we got for this month. Let's bring the camera down. Let's open this up here. Put that to the side. All right, so with every subscription box that you get in the mail from Carnivore Club, you get yourself a legend. I'm gonna put the candle just to the side. There we go, just to make some room, just to make some room for the meat that we're about to enjoy. So you get yourself a legend, Meat Eater's Handbook. You open this up and inside, you've got this month's selection of meats. And this selection of meats, again, au français, is Le Jambon de Bayon, or Bayon. Uh, Le Chef Sachet de Grison. Somebody right now is like, oh God, Spot, you're butchering the French language. I know, I really am. Le saucisson, uh, gendarme, I think that's the word there. Don't worry, Spot will get into more descriptions as we go through each meat. Uh, le, saison, le saucisson, les fessilés, which uh, I guess these are all translations to sausages. And then at the very end is la Toulouse séché. It says, give the gift of meat with two limited edition boxes just for the holidays. The Carnivore Club branded humidor featuring a glossy ebony wood finish and made with butter soft cedar. This box comes fully equipped with hygrometer and humidifier to keep a precious tobacco collection at peak temperatures. There's also the meat box. This handcrafted special edition crate like box from makers of Pie Box in Chicago made with American pine is a perfect storing food uh, to go or stashing tools, knickknacks, and other collectibles priced also at $85. $85 and $95. Uh, you can go to www.carnivore.co forward slash special forward slash Christmas and you can order by December 15th, which actually we still have time. It's not too late for Christmas. And what do you get the person that has everything but loves meat? You get them a monthly subscription service for monthly meat. All right, so we got ourselves our first packet here. And the first packet is the Bouffe Séché Grisson, or the Grisson's Dried Beef. Um, we're going to take some, I'm going to go off camera here, reach off to my black hole, and I got myself some scissors. These are my kitchen scissors, so I'm going to open these up. Be very careful. 
and put that to the side. And we're gonna open this up. And again, Spot's gonna try to do this a little more sophisticated than he did last time because last time I ate it like a caveman. That's probably the best way to eat meat, but not the most sophisticated. I'm actually gonna just try try a little piece of the uh, of these of this kind of meat. Um, again, this is where are we looking at here? Uh, this was the Boo Bouf Sachet Grisson. Uh, this extra lean beef is reminiscent of Grissons, a Swiss village surrounded by lakes and fresh mountain air. Also known as Bundefleisch, this noble beef is treated with red wine and seasonings such as salt, onion, and herbs. Inspired by centennial knowledge, uh, Charcuterie uh, Parisienne was able to reproduce the dark, dry, rec uh, rectangular shape of this fine delicatessen. Traditionally served with melted Swiss cheese, known as raclette. Uh, it is also an excellent sor uh, choice in fondue. And it's very popular for starters and gourmet sandwiches. Mm, I do like gourmet sandwiches. Even if I can't pronounce most of these things, I do enjoy a gourmet sandwich. Uh, look at the coloring on that. Very vibrant. Like it, You can see that it, it does have like that coloring of a red wine. All right, let's give this a try. See if it's any good. It's Le Bouffe Sachet de Grissons. Spot it. may or may not butcher that, but ha <laughs> ha! You see what I did there? Butchered it. All right, let's give this a try. Here we go. Hmm. It almost has like um, almost like a pastrami flavor to it, but I I do taste the the subtleties of the red wine. That is a perfect meat. Speaking of speaking of gourmet sandwiches, that would be a perfect meat to be trying on a gourmet sandwich. Mmm, that's decent. I like that. All right. So, also in my care package of meat this month, I got jambon de bayon or bayon ham. Let's do the little quick read up on that. This ham honors the flavors of Bayonne, an ancient port city in southwestern France. In fact, for over 70 years, Cartu Car Charcuterie Parisienne has been perfecting the traditional uh, ancestral, ancestral method. This extra lean ham is salted and aged in a refined process for several months of maturation. Mature Maturation, thank you. This thinly sliced version is a slightly sweet and delicately flavored meat, which is best served at room temperature with a glass, a nice glass of wine. This ham is, this ham is also divine with raclette or with your favorite uh, hors d'oeuvre combination. That is le jambon de Bayon. Again, Spotted does apologize for the butchering. Where's my candle? There's my candle. For the butchering of the descriptions of these meats. I don't speak French very well, but let me tell you, brother, I know how to eat meat. A nice meat sandwich, mm, it's delicious. I love ham too, a nice ham sandwich. No pun intended, and for, forbid me, uh, excuse me for saying this, but that really hits the spot. There's a ham right there, it kind of looks like prosciutto, which is also a meat I really enjoy eating, prosciutto. Let's give this a try, the jambon de bayon, or the bayon ham. Here we go, let's give it a try. Mmm. It's got a cured flavor to it. It's got like a little, um, almost like a little peppery flavor to it. The peppery flavor becomes a little more predominant as you're eating the meat. Mm. It's got a nice chew to it. I find sometimes with cured meats, you really spend a lot of time gnawing away at the meat. But that's got a good consistency. It's got a good texture to it. And it's got like that little hint of that peppery aftertaste. It's very good. That was Jambon de Bayon. Uh, we also got ourselves, what is this? Oh, it's a cold pack. Colder than ice. Ooh, we don't want to be eating. Don't be eating this, whatever you do. We're going to put this to the side. That actually wasn't in last month's, uh, last month's Carnivore Club box. Uh, we also got ourselves this month Toulouse Sachet, 
or dry Toulouse, which kind of looks like salami. Let's reference our guide here. And this is again Toulouse Sachet. The La Toulouse Sachet or Sachet. Toulouse sausage is a traditional pork meat mixture named after a village in south of France, inspired by a whole wide, worldwide recognized sausage. Uh, Charcuterie Parisian shows its culinary imagination and know-how to give birth to this unique air-cured and dried version. Great for happy hour and antipasto, as well as your favorite gourmet sandwiches. This sausage will brighten your day as well as any holiday when paired with red wine or white wines. Or I guess for that matter, really any wine. This is also, as we're coming into the holiday season with it being Christmas, this would be an ideal meat, I'm imagining, for that as well. All right, let's put the legend to the side. I'm glad legend because I like to be able to read it up. Whether SWAT butchers it or not, again, no pun intended, I do like the fact that at least they give you the legend. So as you're eating the meat and you're letting your friends try it, you can, you can school them. You can say, you know, oh, the Toulouse sachet. Oh, yes, I, I do enjoy that quite a bit as I've got my candle. You can't see it. My candle is still in the corner. Permeating the room in a delicious bouquet of smoked meats and vanilla and lavender. The vanilla and lavender actually is coming from my candle, though. Again, it kind of looks like a cured pastrami. Or like a salami, I guess. Um, it looks It looks very thin. As well, let's give this a try. The Toulouse Sachet. Or Seche. Here we go, let's give it a try. Hmm. I ooh, I like the flavor of that. It's um it's a more subtle flavor of a salami. Not as as rich flavored of a salami. That would be killer. I don't know if that would be sacrilegious, but that would be killer on a pizza. Put this stuff on a pizza for the win. Mm. Toulouse sachet, that might actually be my favorite. I don't know, I like that, and I also do like the ham. The jambon de bayon. All right, I'm gonna keep this for the last. That's probably what I'm gonna use my plate for. And uh, we'll also use the save that for the last. What else did we get in here? We got ourselves the Rosette de Lyon. Rosette de Lyon. And each one of the meats uh, gives you a breakdown of your cholesterol intake for that meat, the number of calories, sodium, vitamin A, fiber, and whatnot, and of course your ingredients. Let's research further this delicious meat, the Rosette de Lyon, which is, is it actually on the other side? Is it not on here? I don't see it. I want to make sure I got this right. Rosette de Lyon is not on here. I wonder why it's not actually on here. Maybe it was a meat that they decided to add at the last minute. I don't see it here. Do you guys see it? I don't see it. Rosette Lyon. Rosette de Lyon. It reminds me of Lionheart. I don't know why I'm using Van Damme as a comparison to packaged meats. I don't know. But let's get this cut open. I don't have a read-up on that. I wonder why. No read-up. No read-up on Rosette de Lyon. But let's open this up. Uh, it's a little larger slice, slice piece of meat than uh, than the other pieces that we've looked at. At least of the the rounder variety. Kind of again has that texture of uh, almost like a salami, where it's got a little pepper pepper flex in there of seasoning. Let's give it a try. I, I don't even know what this Rosette de Lyon. It's pork. I can see that there's pork there. Pork, salt. No, no English on there either. Okay, let's give it a try. The Rosette de Lyon. Very mild. Very mild in the beginning. But then as you get progressed, like as you're chewing more and more of it, that 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 pepper kicks in. It's not as strong as the other one. The other one had more of a pepper aftertaste. This would be like on par with like another salami. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to see if like with a lot of these, if I can pick out any sort of the specific seasonings. I 
I want to say there's like that little bit of rosemary to it, but that's probably not even close. It is actually quite nice though. I'm surprised though it's not on the legend. Again, maybe they've added this after the fact. And then we've got ourselves two sausages. We've got the saucisson uh, le faisalette, and we've also got the saucisson gendarme, which is the land Jaeger sausage. The other one actually is the le faisalette, le faisalette uh, sausage. And for that, I'm just gonna move the box out of the way. And I'm gonna move my plate over. We're gonna do this a little more sophisticated than we did last time. Last time, Spot, you ate it like an animal. I know, I did eat it like an animal. We're just gonna put these pieces right here. And uh, let's first consult the legend, the Meat Eater's Handbook once again. And we are gonna find, we are finding the Saucignon de Fisselet. And I apologize about my, my Francais, it's not very good. Uh, the write up says the making of the sausage dates back to the dawn of time. That's a long time ago. The charcuterie, the par Parisian, uh, through the Fissolet offering, is reviving the ancient and wilder taste of this yesteryear sausage. The Fissolet sausage has the characteristic of having the visual Fissolet look as well as the pure pork taste and thus a winning combination for your pleasure. Very popular as a starter, this will make a great addition to any holiday party and mostly appreciated when combined with a selected choice of red wine. The read-ups are very, I feel like I should be wearing a tuxedo. I'm not wearing a tuxedo just in case anybody thought I was, but this would be a perfect kind of uh, subscription box to be, uh, to be wearing, to be getting dressed up for. And maybe next time, this time, this time I had a plate, a knife, and a fork. Next time, full-blown tuxedo. Don't quote me on that. It, it may or may not happen. I'm hoping it will happen though. I'm just gonna take this string off here. This looks like the kind of stuff I would go into like one of those old world uh, like butcher shops and I'd find this kind of hanging there. I'm gonna slice off a piece. Very sl Slice off a piece. There we go. It's a very dense flavored meat. You can see all the little flavorings and little fat pockets and stuff like that. That all makes the sausage delicious. Now I'm not gonna just not like a carrot. No, we're gonna do this sophisticated. Slice off a little small piece, just like that. Very professional. Like so, and there is a piece right there. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's, let's have a look at it again. This is the Saucignon, Saucignon Le Fissolette, the Fissolette Sausage. Here we go, let's give it a try. Whoops, not bang the camera either. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Very dense. It's a very dense meat. It's, um, and I don't mean to say this as any sort of insult, but it's kind of like, like the pepperette sticks that you would get. It's that, it's that kind of flavor and consistency, just denser, and it's got a more well-rounded flavor. Because I find it like when you eat like a pepperette, uh, you get a lot of little jolts of seasoning along with the flavor of the pepperette. With this, if it, it tastes like all the flavors are rounded together so that they're all kind of going hand in hand. They're all holding hands and going together. That is a fantastic sausage. I also, you know, as props to myself, I'm, I'm like the fact that I've, I'm doing this a little more sophisticated. The final sausage that came to us from the folks over at Carnivore Club for the month, the month of November. Uh, this one is the Saucignon Gendarme or the Land Jaeger Sausage. And let's quickly do a little read up before we try that one. Uh, which is, is it on here? Yes it is, there it is right there. I was gonna say, ah, spot, wipe out the eyes. Here we go. This burgundy colored semi-dried beef sausage, also known as the Land Jaeger, has its origin from Switzerland and Alsace, France. The word gendarme historically comes from the uh, Alsatian police always patrolling in pairs. The 
charcuterie Parisian's version proposes a tooth cracking taste. Wait a minute, a tooth cracking taste, followed by a beautiful smoky flavor. And when cut in thin slices or diced, it pairs beautifully with sauerkraut and in soups. It is also popular as a snack food for activities such as hiking because of its ability to keep well without refrigeration. That looks like it's going to be a much denser uh, sausage. All right, so let's get this cut open. I'm going to put that right there. And we're going to just move the other piece of sausage out of the way here and get this cut open. If you guys have had a chance, by the way, as we're entering into the 20 minute mark of this review, if you guys have had a chance to uh, to get any of these subscription boxes come to your door, let me know what you guys think of them. Um, also, above that, you guys can let me know if you enjoy Spot's more sophisticated take on looking at this month's Carnivore Club box. I'm gonna slice off a piece here. I love subscription boxes. Can I just say that? I'm just gonna throw that out there. I love subscription boxes and uh, meat subscription boxes. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. Maybe if there was some way that they could do like a meat and action movie subscription month where every month I got a flavor of meat, like a steak or something, and an action movie. Like a Stallone movie or something like that. I would get like Lock Up and I would get myself like uh, pork product or tango and cash and I get myself like a, a big t-bone steak now we're talking all right so let's give this a try this burgundy colored semi-dried beef sausage the land Jaeger the final meat in this month's subscription box from the carnivore club here we go let's give it a try hmm I don't know if I would say I'm a fan of this one. This one has a, a much more smokier cured flavor to it. Hmm. As Spot continues to chew this. Luckily it's not, it hasn't cracked my teeth as it's indicated the tooth cracking taste. Um, it has a, a considerable amount of smoky flavor to it. It, it almost kind of gives it, it almost gives it like a flavor of like a campfire. Like if you had actually cured this in campfire smoke. I'm not really personally a big fan of smoked, like intensely smoked meats. Uh, so therefore, I'm not really a fan of this one. If, however, you are a big fan of smoked meat, you probably would really like this one. But like looking at this month's subscription box entries, I think my favorite might be the ham. The Jambon de Bayon. Um, and I really also did like the Saucisson Le Fessile. Um, those two actually could be probably my favorite for this month's subscription box. My candle continues to light. You, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. This whole area is engulfed in smoked meat smell and vanilla. That's a good combination to have. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, to the folks over at Carnivore Club, uh, definitely would suggest uh, heading over there and you can subscribe to this service for yourself. How exciting is it to get a box of different flavored meats arrive to your door every month? The answer is very, very exciting. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Carnivore Club subscription box for the month of November. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots on your way. And certainly thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you guys next time.